New at 10, a local man says he wants to make Fort Smith more lively and energetic, and he's helped make it possible for two international artists to paint a mural in town. Five News reporter Amy Slanchik has the story. Something is going on in the parking lot of the Border Town Skate Shop. And we're trying to do something different. So it's new and it represents the future. Two artists, both originally from Ireland, have made their way to Fort Smith for a few days for a special project. Here's a look at what they did together in London two years ago. Macer's is more contemporary, bright colors, uh, objects that represent, words that represent meaning to him and to the community. Connor is more of a fine artist for a street artist and his, his images depict emotion. It's all a part of a vision John McIntosh has for the city. He's calling it the Unexpected Project and says there are plans to have other artists from around the nation and the globe come in to paint the town. Downtown used to be a very vibrant downtown when I grew up and then it went away. But downtown is really the heart and soul of the city and anything we can do to bring that back where, where younger people want to live and work and play downtown, and that's really our mission. So how much work does it take to paint a mural? That's Connor Harrington's coffee cup right there. How many spray cans is he using? It's definitely about 100 odd cans or more. From the time they started Thursday morning to the time it's all done, McIntosh says the pair will have spent about 85 hours at the wall. In Fort Smith, Amy Slanchik, 5 News. Now, the unexpected project goes beyond the mural you just saw. A festival will be in downtown Fort Smith the week of September 6th. The goal is to paint several murals throughout the city.